Hi, this is a video looking a little bit more deeply at the classwork feature of Google Classroom. So when you're in your Google Classroom, you just navigate to classwork. And in classwork, you'll see some of the most recent class assignments that have been posted. This is all topics. Um, if you would like to, you can actually create different topics and then you can put assignments in these different topics if that is something that's relevant to you. To create topics in your class, you click Create, Topic, maybe we'll say ELA. And not necessary, but something that you can do just to help you stay organized. And then you would see what kinds of assignments have been posted for the different topics. So to create an assignment, there's these different options here. So we'll just click Assignment, give it a title. Rainbow essay, create an essay. And then you can add various kinds of multimedia. So you can add drive file, a web link, an actual file from your computer or a YouTube video if there's some kind of media you would like to attach. You can also say, is it just for all, is it for all students in your class? Or you can assign this assignment to just certain students. You can give it points, or you can say it's ungraded, again, or I can say it's for you know a certain number of points. I can say it has no due date, or maybe I do wanna give it a due date, so let's say it's due next, um, the 27th. I can assign it a topic, so let's say maybe it's ELA. And then there is something kind of newish in Google Classroom called a rubric, and so if you're interested in that, that is something that um, you can explore here and actually create a rubric. It's pretty new though. Um, and then you would click assign. And then in your um, ELA, there's your rainbow essay. And then if you go to stream, you can see in my stream that this is something that has just happened. I've posted an essay. So something else I can do is I can post a quiz assignment. And so again, you would give it a title. Okay, this quiz, you can again add multimedia if you want to. And then you see here, it actually has a quiz embedded. So you would open the quiz and then you would actually kind of create the quiz on, the, on this Google form. Over here again, you can assign it to all students or certain students, determine points, due dates, topics, rubric, et cetera. Um, there, there are grade, grade importing. That's kind of another advanced feature, but that's the quiz. Question, this is kind of just simple. Um, how are rainbows created? Uh, short answer or multiple choice. Let's just say short answer. I don't really need to add any um, any uh, multimedia. So, oh, I, and I could create something in, in addition here. And then I can just click ask. And so again, here is my How Are Rainbows Created? If it's in the stream. So it says I've posted a new question. And then I can see how many students have turned it in, how many students it's been assigned to, et cetera. Okay. And then I can, uh, material. So material is not an assignment. You see over here, it doesn't have um, points or a due date. So it's probably, it's really just, if you want to share a text that you want your students to read or a video that you want your students to watch and then do something with it later, this is how you would share materials with students. Um, let me see. So one thing you can do with an assignment also is let's say rainbow, let's see, you have to write a rainbow song. Um, I'm going to create a document that I want them to create their song on. Rainbow song. Okay. Students can view file. And so here are some choice some choices. If I just want students to be able to see something that I've shared with them and it's you know attached to an assignment, I can just have them view it. If I want all students to edit the exact same document, 
I will say students can edit file. But if I want each student to have their own copy of this document, I would actually make a copy for each student. Okay, and so that's how that would work. And then each student would have their own uh, version of that assignment. And so that's what I chose here. And so if any of these students logged into their, to this Google Classroom, they would see that they have this assignment and that they actually have a, their own copy of that rainbow song assignment. Um, and then grades. So grades is if you do assign points and then people do turn it in, you will, within the assignment, give them points for whatever it was and then you can it'll also show if it was missing again you don't have to do this um, let me see an example how do you see google classroom being used so this is where i can give students a grade um, so this es test one their response used in many different ways helping a lot of the kids with their assignments all right maybe i say that's a 95 and then i can go down to student two, or maybe that's a 30, you know, and this is actually how I can grade it right here. And then I can go back and I can see grades. And then I would see the grades that I here, I've just assigned it here. And then I can actually return that to the students as well. So this is just kind of still a highish level overview of how assignments work. Um, and you, again, do not have to assign grades, you don't have to assign due dates, but this could be a way for you to describe and assign assignments um, and then also collect them back.